Hey guys, it's Sid. Quickly before the vlog starts, this is kind of an all over the place vlog. What's new? I start the vlog out in the car with my friends. It's very like abrupt beginning, so I didn't really like make an intro. And then later in the video, I do a Q&A, but I still think it's a super fun video. So I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get into the video. You leave without my blessing. I can't let you leave without my blessing. Hey guys, it's currently five o'clock. I'm going to be meeting up with Franny. I don't know if anyone else is coming, but we're going to be getting some smoothies. Franny has been talking about these smoothies, you guys, for weeks. She's been like, Sydney, you have to go to this one smoothie place with me. They're so good. So we finally are going to go get them. I'm really, really excited because I love smoothies. And yeah, I'm excited because I wanted to vlog it. Oh my gosh, you got the putty! But yours doesn't have gum or hair in <laughs> like no. I know. Ew. She puts gum in her putty. <laughs> no, I don't mean to. It just goes I've seen in. It. Bye. Right okay, guys, guys, we are all together <laughs> at the P. I'm with Bobby and Franny. Yes, I got a new Hi. haircut. We Matt have Dwight. literally all seen each other every day for like the past four days. We're gonna go get smoothies. We're mm. a little tight on time. It's 6 18 and they might close at 6 30, but they also might close at 7. So, <laughs> and we're we don't away. know. We don't know because last time Franny went, they closed at 6 30. We they're are like, we had no business today, so we closed early. I'm like, well, that's not my fault. If they're yeah. closed, you girls are gonna go crazy. I can feel it already. Yeah, because we've been driving for an pee. hour now. You're in front of the store. <laughs> Ew. Are you scared, friend? Yeah, if it's not open, I'm gonna cry. Well, well, have you been taking secret dance lessons? Yeah. You have? We made it. Maybe. Yeah. Yahoo! <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> Taste test. Taste test number one. Here we go. Oh, it's thick. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's really good. good. There you go. It's sweet. Whoa, taste it on there. I've had this before. That's pretty good. That's good. Hey guys, what's up? Well, I don't think I've ever filmed a video from this angle before. It is a couple days later. I like I had that vlog footage and it was just like so random from like this movie place. I thought I'd throw it in at the beginning, but for the rest of this vlog, I just wanted to kind of sit down, chill, do a little Q&A because I haven't done one, I feel like in a while. I guess I did the assumptions video. But I went on my Instagram story. I asked you guys if you have any questions, you can ask them. If not, it's still gonna be a good time. <laughs> First question is, do you actually wear glasses? Long story short, I did actually used to have to wear glasses, but they were like prism glasses because I had double vision, so it like fixed the way my eyes were pointed. They weren't like normal prescription glasses for like blurry vision. But then I got eye surgery, so you don't have to wear those anymore. These ones that I do wear now are just to help, like, because I'm on my computer and phone a lot, it just helps reduce the blue light that's going to my eyes, or is it blue light? I don't know. What's your favorite emoji? Right now, it's the cowboy and the baguette. If you follow me on Instagram, you know why. Are you ever scared in your apartment alone? I'm not really scared in my apartment, no. I feel like where I live, I'm very safe. How old are you? 18. At what age did you start to use makeup? I think I started wearing makeup in sixth grade. I remember I bought clear mascara, which I don't understand. Like clear mascara literally does nothing. I also wore lip gloss. Have you ever felt like people were jealous of you? That's a very interesting question. Yeah, for sure. I feel like you can kind of just sense that and I feel weird even saying that. But yeah, jealousy is never good. I always say girl sporting girls. Adeline Morin, I freaking love your merch. It's so cute. I love you and I love that message you stand by because yeah, jealousy is everywhere and the, I don't know why this just became a rant about Adeline Morin's merch and how I love it. How do you stay fit? I actually have a what I eat in a day video going up on my main channel this Sunday so stay tuned for that. I'm really really excited. I talk so much about that in that video. So are you excited for Super Bowl Sunday? I am so so excited for Super Bowl Sunday. I love the Super Bowl. This is my first year not watching it with my family, which is kind of weird, but I'm so excited. I am really pulling for the Rams just because I'm in LA now. Go Rams, woo! <laughs> I feel like I need to fix my hair, guys. I'm sorry if this is ratchet. When is your birthday? July 4th of 2000. Would you consider getting a roommate in your apartment? Um, Maybe down the line, yes. Right now, I love living alone, but never say never. Oh my gosh, wait. Didn't Justin Bieber come up with that line? <laughs> okay, so someone asked me what this whole we leave I get thing means. So if you follow me on Instagram, lately I have been talking a lot about baguettes. Specifically, I seem to say like wee wee baguette a lot. I'll say in an accent like wee wee baguette. I just think it's so fun to say wee wee baguette. 
<laughs> I don't know why. People keep saying to me, they're like, it means yes, yes, bread. Like it doesn't even mean anything logical, but I just think it's fun to say. You guys should start saying it too. We should make it like a thing. It's just fun to say, I don't know. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about being a Christian and a YouTuber? I think my favorite thing about being Christian is just that I know that no matter what happens in my life, Jesus will always be there for me because in life, sometimes people come in and out of your life, sometimes good circumstances, bad circumstances happen, but no matter what, at the end of the day, I could literally be in Egypt with no food or no water, but I still have Jesus, and that just like calms all of my anxiety about everything. As far as the favorite thing about being a YouTuber, I love, I love just meeting you guys, and like I feel like you guys are like my best friends. I like just making people happy. I think it's really fun to just like sit in front of a camera. Do you like sushi? LOL. No, I feel so weird because I feel like in LA everyone likes sushi and coffee, and I hate both of those. Are you going to playlist live? Yes, I'm going. I don't know if I'm having a meetup yet or like a panel or whatever is going on. But if I do, I'll announce it on my Instagram stories probably. And I'm sure you can also look at like the playlist website and stuff. I'm excited. If you're going, let me know in the comments below. Do you feel like you're really basic now that you live in LA? I really don't because I feel like throughout the whole moving process, I feel like I've just stayed true to myself. And a lot of people when they meet me, they just know like they're like, oh, you're not from LA, are you? I'm like, you are correct. <laughs> I don't know if it's my accent or just the way I carry myself that's different. I'm not saying that either way is like better or superior Year, but yeah, I feel like I'm definitely still my same Minnesota self, just in a different place. Wee wee baguettes! Oh, that made my whole day. Would you go to the past or the future? I feel like going into the future will be too scary, and then I would be paranoid of like what's gonna happen. So I'd rather go back in the past and like relive my childhood because those were some of the best years ever. Would you ever visit the Philippines? For some reason, there's a lot of fans I've seen that I have in the Philippines. I really want to go there one day. Would you guys like want me to go there and like have a meet up? That'd be so fun. Are you popular? at school. Well, I'm currently not in like a public school right now, but when I did go to school, I was not popular. I mentioned this in my last video, but I just do not like the concept of popularity. I literally, it's probably one of my biggest pet peeves ever when someone feels like they're entitled. I basically like, okay, let me just talk about this for a second. Mini rant. I feel like to be popular, like it's fine to be popular and have a lot of people like you, I think that's great. But when it's like to the point where it's like, oh, I'm better than you, like you're clicky or something like that, like typical high school stuff, I really just think it's very immature because that just shows that they're insecure with themselves. Popularity literally means nothing. Like who you're friends with, like their social status should mean absolutely nothing to you. It should be all about the genuineness of the friendship. But I want you to know, like, okay, if you are watching this and you're in either middle school or high school, School. If I could tell myself one thing to my younger self, I would have said, and I did like kind of practice a little bit, but don't care what social status you are. It doesn't matter if you talk to someone who isn't popular or who is popular, like none of that should matter. And just because someone thinks they're popular doesn't mean they even are. Like just don't care about that at all, guys. Like please don't think that anyone is better than you because if someone like acts so entitled, like, oh, like I'm popular, that's ridiculous. <laughs> like people just need to stop having an entitled attitude. Okay, that's my rant. Sorry. <laughs> How are you able to vlog in public so easily? I always try, but it's so embarrassing for me. No, it's definitely embarrassing. Like, trust me, the first few times I started vlogging in public, I was so... Actually, for years, I was so nervous and just, like, awkward. But I feel like if you try to, like, hide that you're vlogging in public, it's more, like, embarrassing. Whereas if you just, like, fully go for it and you just whip out your camera, don't focus on anyone else, that's just the way to do it. What is one of the scariest experiences that you you've ever gone through. I actually, I don't think I've ever shared this story before, so this is gonna be very interesting. This was probably, I wanna say a year ago now, so this is when I was back and living in Minnesota. Basically, I had just gotten home from dinner with my friend. She dropped me off at my house and I don't remember if I locked my front door. Still to this day, I don't know if I did. It was like 11 o'clock at night, I had come home. My brother was at a sleepover, so he wasn't home. My mom was home and I went upstairs. I went to get a shower. She knew I was home and everything. And my mom was also getting a shower in her bathroom. So we were both getting showers at the same time. No one else was home, just me and my mom. And when I was in the shower, I heard like the door slam and then footsteps running up the stairs. It was very loud, like it was very clear. I could definitely hear it. And I didn't think any of it because I thought my dad had come home or my brother for some reason so after I get out of the shower I literally like I don't think anything of it I get out I get dressed and I'm like wait I go to my 
mom's room, I'm like, where is dad? Like, I swear I heard him shut the door and come up the stairs earlier. And my mom was like, wait, I totally heard that too. Is he not in the kitchen? So we call him and we're like, dad, like, where are you? And he was at work. And I was like, what the heck? Like, if my mom and I both heard it from opposite sides of the house, I don't think we were hallucinating. Like, it was very clear. My brother was at his friend's house still, so it was so weird. So basically, we called 911, the police come, and we stay in my mom's room. We just, like, locked the door because we didn't know if, like, they were still in the house. And they just look through the house, and they end up saying that, like, no one's there. But it was the freakiest experience ever because I can Tell you guys right now someone was in my house without a doubt they didn't take anything like they didn't seem to like do anything that was one of my i would say like top five scariest moments i have some other ones maybe for another video what's it like living as a youtuber getting noticed getting treated differently by people or friends etc this is a very very intriguing question it is definitely different and i feel like because i was considered normal before my whole youtube thing i can definitely compare like what a typical life is like versus like a youtuber life i would say the main difference is being like like a youtuber would be that whenever you go out like typically there's gonna be like someone who comes up to you or who notices you it's always fun meeting you guys like I really love it and I love like talking with you guys and taking pictures sometimes people will like see me and they know it's me but then they don't want to come up to me so they'll just like stand there and point and stare and talk about me and I can like hear them <laughs> but they don't think I notice and they'll like take pictures of me and think that I don't know that they're doing it so it's like kind of funny as far as getting treated differently I feel like that was more prominent when I was back home in Minnesota, I don't feel like I get treated super differently here because I feel like we're all in the same boat as far as like we're all in the same industry. Have you ever regretted being on social media? No, not at all. I think it's so fun to share my life and connect with you guys, so definitely not. Favorite Bible verse? I will fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and staff comforts me. Okay, well, I think those are gonna be all the questions that I answer for today's video. So I hope you guys liked watching. I love you and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. We wee baguette. Peace out. Okay. Okay. Bye, guys.